All right, welcome to my August 5th live item shop review video. I just went through and I own this entire shop. If that tells you what's in store for this rotation on this particular shop, it's stuff that's been here before. We got Blaze and the Mecha Weapons Team Bundle makes a return. So Blaze is a good skin, but she does drop a lot of frames. Love the Renegade Raider look, the closest thing I could get to the Renegade Raider. Mecha Weapons Team Bundle was a little underwhelming i'd say but they do have the built-in transformation which is kind of cool it's just that the transformation is into almost like a power ranger skin bam i love transformation skins though pretty sweet you can change them to multiple colors which is also equally impressive let's take a quick time out though because i went to the store this is more entertaining and impressive than this item shop so i got this it's a Stranger Things VHS brownie kit. Have you ever heard of anything like this before? It was on clearance, which means nobody bought it. You can see it's got a Demogorgon on the front there. It says, please be kind, rewind. That used to be an 80s motto from Blockbuster Family Video, the video stores. I used to go rent videos, video games, everything from those stores. It was amazing. It says, includes VHS sleeve cut out on back. Kit includes brownie mix and icing. So I have no idea what this is. Looking at the image, I honestly don't understand. Do you put the brownies in these VHS sleeves or... I don't know. I don't understand. Are the uh, sleeves edible? Like, why would you put cardboard on the brownie? I just don't understand. So here's the back of the thing. I guess... I don't know, because it says place glue here. So you can turn your brownie into a VHS cutout? I don't understand. Why would you do that? You want to eat the brownie. You don't want to put it in cardboard. You can't eat it if it's in cardboard. I just don't know. Make your own VHS sleeve with cutout below. I haven't actually opened it yet. But I'm very anxious to do so. Maybe I'll record a vlog when we do it. Because I have no idea what this is. But I saw a Demogorgon on the front. And I was like, oh, I got to get this. I love Stranger Things. All right, back to the item shop review. We got the Battle Hound and Highland Warrior Bundle. Storm Sigil, pretty sweet. Silver Fang, this is a pretty solid bundle. Battle Hound's okay, but at least with the Highland Warrior, you can put the mask off or on. With Mr. Battle Hound, you can't take it off. And again, the Storm Sigil is pretty sweet. A little bit of an underrated glider there. Par Patroller's back, as well as Dawn. She's a good golf skin. Love those pants she has on, the gray and black and green. Looks pretty solid. Dawn, um, she's the one that has contrails coming out of her feet on the first style only. So when you run, you literally make your own contrail. It's pretty solid. The bean bag has two styles as well. The bright one and the gloomy one. Kite is back. Nice traversal. Pretty sweet. By the way, I did a video on Mr. Cobb here. You can get infinite corn. I highly suggest checking that out. I'll link it in the outro. Flux from Season 7. Break it down, Mr. Cobb. Fist pump. Oh, wow, Season 5. That's a good one. 200. Shanty for a Squad, one of the better emotes in the game. It's got lyrics. It's got a beat. It's traversal. And it's synced. It's like a quadfecta of awesomeness. Good stuff. Then we got all the repeats. The John Cena section. The LeBron James section. All the summer favorites that you can see. Like I said, I own absolutely everything in this item shop. That is beyond ridiculous. This shop is probably worth like, I don't know, $500 plus. And we own it all. We're getting closer to completing the entire locker collection. It'll never happen because I'm missing some super expensive, super rare ones. But we're close. So there you go. Stranger Things brownies tonight confirmed. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.